I am the culinary arts teacher with all of these wonderful students and I want to welcome you all to our very first DICE competition. Um, you are here to witness the battle between our administrative team and our culinary students for the bragging rights of top chefs. We would like to thank first and foremost Chef Dave DeLeo from Wegmans. Woo! Thank you for his partnership and participation and guidance during the event. Um, not only has De Chef Dave DeLeo been with us and assisted with the dice competition, but he has worked with our students in the culinary classroom. So he's been a huge asset to us this year. We would also like to thank Wegmans for their sponsorship and providing the food to make this event happen. So here's the rules of our competition. Each team will be provided with four secret ingredients and asked to prepare and plate an entree. All teams have access to the pantry and refrigerator items to use during the, the actual recipe preparation. You'll notice all of our materials are in front and center, but they also have access to both refrigerators. We have additional ingredients. Teams will be judged by our guest panel on the following. Presentation, taste, and creativity. Teams will have one hour to prepare their plate, and they must plate for five judges total. We're, well that, each team will have 10 minutes to discuss their strategy and then we'll begin the hour competition. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our celebrity judge, um, Superintendent Barbara Dean Williams. <laughs> At this time, we are going to call out four random ticket numbers. And those numbers, if you have your ticket stub, if you, your number is called, we'd like you to join us at our guest panel table. Just to prepare and try to plan out what they're going to do for the next five minutes, and that's all they have. I want to let you know what our secret ingredients are. Um, each team will be working with, and all four teams have the same ingredients, they will be working with chicken, peppers, garlic, and quinoa. And the challenge is, they must take all of these four ingredients and make an entree in some way, shape, or form. They have access to anything available to them, any food item. They just have to come up with the recipe themselves. And I confiscated all cell phones, so there is no Google. Well, not all. Secret stuff. stuff. Yeah. Secret stuff. We are doing a little, yeah, a little five plates. Um, Italian-ish stuff. Ooh, garlic so and peppers and onions and ooh, sounds phenomenal. And we're gonna use this red dotted stuff over here. Red dotted stuff. Otherwise known as quinoa. Quinoa. I heard it was very healthy. It is very healthy. Uh, I don't know. Don't know? So flying by the seat of your pants? Yeah. Oh, fajitas. I love fajitas. Fantastic. I love that idea. And what is your strategy over here, team? Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork. That is the best strategy ever, teamwork. I see some scallions being chopped up here. What's going to happen with those? I have no idea. You don't know? Your job is to chop. Put in the Your donation to the food shelf is greatly appreciated. Thank you. You know. What's your, what's your strategy with the quinoa? To cook it in the water first and then let it simmer and then fluff it up and then add, add it. Add it into your fajitas? Mm -hmm. Are you helping somebody out? They are. I'm just getting some pepper for over here. These guys are in good shape. They are uh, started with their hot pan like you should. Here's that sizzle when they put the chicken in. Yeah. And uh, they're going to leave it on that side long enough to get a nice heart here. they got the presentation, presentation side down. So that when they present it, it's going to be really nice golden brown on top. Is that something you taught them when you were here visiting? Yeah, I showed them, uh, showed them how to do that. Uh, you know, everybody eats with their eyes, so presentation is part of what we're grading. And that's, but they want to make sure that side looks perfect. I guess we're going to keep an eye on those beans in the bag. Um, how much garlic you use? Um, probably a lot. Nice problem solving skills. Salt the water? Why do we salt the water? It boils at a higher temperature. It boils at a higher temperature. And what does that do for us? Um, it's really good. It what? It makes it good fit. Okay. So when you hit salt the water, it's going to uh, absorb the flavor into the beans so that you don't have to uh, add salt afterwards. Okay. It kind of just gives it a deeper flavor. The chef is going to come bring the food to the judges, explain their thought process and what they have prepared for our judges today. Each judge will have the opportunity to judge on creativity, presentation, and taste. Team one, 
is going to go first. So this is chicken fajitas. Um, inside the fajita are sauteed onions and peppers and chicken flavored with chili powder and cumin and cheese, sour cream on the side, and the quinoa is flavored with chili powder and cumin with sauteed onions and peppers and parsley. Oh, and then um, the chicken was sauteed in um, garlic and butter sauce. So they used all four of their secret ingredients and added some of the pantry items and refrigerator items. And the judges are now going to grade them with their rubric on presentation, taste, and creativity. <laughs> So, what are you seeing in there, Ms. Moore? Um, excellent flavor, very colorful. I like that. Okay, appealing to the eye? Mm -hmm. What do you think of that quinoa? Have you tried the quinoa yet? Yeah. It's good? Does it taste like anything you've ever had before? No. No? How's it going on this end, judges? Pretty good. Very good? Good. Excellent. Okay. Pretty good. Team two is out. That ready. And team two, who is the chef that's going to explain your thought process and your cooking? Yes, please. Okay. Nice so and So we made chicken quinoa fajitas and with mixed vegetables. And on the outside, we have black beans and the quinoa mixed vegetables that are in the fajita. And then there's sour cream. Thank you very much. I like that the quinoa is in with the chicken. It gives it a nice bite or crunch that I wasn't expecting. It's pretty. Mm. We sauteed our chicken first, and then we put it in the oven to bake for a little while. And then we made a cream base sauce. And we steamed our green beans and the quinoa. Quinoa. The quinoa. We made it in the chicken broth. Thank you. Very good, team. I have to make sure that the admin team isn't cheating and touching their plates over here. We did not. All right. Yay. Good job. Was in the <laughs> it's always symbolic cheating. It's symbolic? I don't think you were supposed to announce that. It's I am filming. <laughs> Any thoughts, judges? For the camera? What are you thinking? It's delicious. It's delicious? How's the sauce? Because I haven't seen that yet in the other team. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking about the sauce, ladies? Very good. Mm -hmm. Nice flavor, yes. We have, um, what we have for you is a, a traditional Italian beans and greens that we substituted the quinoa in for the beans. Uh, you have a uh, pan-seared chicken that was then finished off in the broiler. And on top of that is a uh, red pepper bruschetta finished with cheese over the top of it. And it's all over a bed of uh, sweet marinara. And we've got uh, kin caramel um, pineapples with uh, fresh cream cheese. Or fresh cream for you as well. Beautiful presentation. Very good. Nice twist on the beans and greens. Very clever. Very clever? Very clever. I like how they put the quinoa instead of the beans. So I don't like beans. So for you, this would be a good substitute. Perfect. And since quinoa is such a healthy grain. <laughs> Judge, what are you thinking? I'm thinking it's very good. <laughs> very good. And I want to thank all of you for coming, for making this happen. A special thanks to our superintendent, to Wedman, to all of the kids.
to our administrative team. Um, without all of you guys, um, this would never have happened. So thank you very much. I did not take any bribes in this. <laughs> By two points, the, with a total of 66 points, the administrative team, Team 4, has taken our dice competition. <laughs> We had a tie for second place. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen.